Good morning. Happy Monday. Greg Theobald here answering this question. Can you overcome this specific trait in your life that could be holding you back? What trait am I talking about? Procrastination. Don't we all hate that? If you think about it, though, procrastination doesn't really exist. It's a made up word by people who are really apathetic or they just don't care or maybe they don't give a damn or maybe they're lazy. But here's uh, why I say that. Because if you really care about something, you would find a way to do it. You wouldn't procrastinate. And here's uh, here's an example. I heard this before. Uh, I'll use this as an example. If you needed to make $1 million in a year, you ask people, if you need to make $1 million in a year, what are your chances of doing it? And they would say about a half a percent, or maybe you might get 5% or 2% but they wouldn't give themselves a very high chance of making $1 million in a year. Then ask them this, if you needed to make a $1 million in a year or your family would be killed at the end of that year, all of your family, then ask them what the chances of percentage uh, chance they would do that. They would probably say, unless they don't like their family, but they'd probably say 100%, 100% chance that they would make that in one year. What changed? What changed? Well, the goal didn't change, making a million dollars. The time frame didn't change one year. What changed was the reason or the why they would do that behind it. So if you want to get something done, you have to have a strong emotional attachment to it. So if there's something you've been procrastinating about, if there's something that you aren't doing, you gotta ask yourself, do I really care? And if you don't really care, then stop doing it or do something else. So if you, if you have a, if you want to make more money because you want to put your children in a school that gives them better opportunities or opportunities that you didn't have, then that's, that's a good reason. If you want to make more money because you want to take your mom on a vacation that she's always wanted to go on and never been able to go or your parents somewhere, then that's a good reason. If you want to make more money to buy a boat because when you were a young boy, your dad took you out on a boat many times and had conversations with you and made a bond and taught you how to be a man. And then he died when you were 12 and now you have a 12 year old son and you've never taken him fishing. Then that's a strong reason, an emotional attachment. So if you want to do something, if you want to accomplish something, you have to have a strong emotional attachment to it and then you'll be able to do it you'll be able to get it done. You have to be driven. You have to be driven. So I hope you got value out of this. I hope that you have something you are uh, passionate about because if you do, it'll keep you going through those times when people are naysayers, when people are dragging you down, when people are trying to stop you. It won't matter because your strong emotional attachment to something that you want to accomplish will drive you through the hard times. So leave me a comment. What are you passionate about? What are you driven about? Have you run into the problem of procrastination? And if you have, let me know how you overcame it. And if you want to know why I'm driven or what I'm driven about, message me and I'll let you know. So hope you uh, have a great Monday. Hope you have a wonderful week. If you know somebody that this could help, then uh, feel free to share it with them. Uh, tag, a, tag somebody that you know and uh, talk to you soon.